The making of Mary started late that summer. It was only when we were halfway through the album that we actually realized we were making an album. Paul and I have been working together over the years. And he would help me with my film, and I would help him with the music wherever I could. But it wasn't like a constant thing. In the dawning hour, break of day strikes an old church tower. We met Fruta early on. And the first song we did together was Tears from a Stone. Tears from a Stone is a song about the process of songwriting. Paul had this alchemist type of thing all worked out. It was exciting because I think it was something that we had been working towards for so long. You know, Paul was always talking about the type of music he wanted to record and I always was talking about the type of film or the type of music that I liked and wanted to hear. And it, it was such a natural thing for the two to blend, you know. We, we found that what we couldn't do apart, we could do together. We didn't want a produced record in the traditional sense, um, but we love experimenting and playing around, so um, there is a lot of attention to all the sounds on the record. And it was fun, you know, we, we never took ourselves too seriously. Like um, when we needed strings, instead of getting the real thing, which in a way would have been too easy, we used guitars played with a thing called an ebo, which sits on the string of a guitar and vibrates and makes the guitar actually sound like a violin or a cello. Even the technical side was interesting. You know, there are so many ways to capture sound on tape, and it all affects the song. Yeah, I think sometimes Fruta might have had a bit of a hard time, because if uh, he was going to record a song, we would just give him a track of maybe one or two guitars and some humming, and he'd say, here's the song. And we, we'd have an outline for him, and you know, he would know what we wanted to hear, but it, what, it wasn't like there was lots of instruments and he, he had a big backup. He kind of had to, you know, imagine that for himself. Film would always be a big part of it. While we were laying down tracks, more often than not, we would use film expressions to describe something musical. Half an Hour's was a funny one, because um, when it was first recorded, it was very military in style. The beat was very straightforward, and Paul was singing kind of cheerfully. And um, when we heard it at back, it was like, nah, nah, that's not right, that's not right. So Fruta went in, he played a much looser beat, and then um, Paul recorded his voice through an amp, and he sang it like, like he was depressed. And I think that really brought the song out.
recording in the basement was very different from anything I've ever done before. We had all this equipment that we didn't know how to use, and we were making mistakes left and right, and we were using the equipment in ways that the manufacturer never intended. Get up now! Mary's Coming is my favorite song off the album. The piano was recorded on this old flea market thing that could never be tuned. Something in this morning You know, of course, you spend two, three months recording and writing the album, and then it takes at least a year before the thing gets released. And especially the way we did it, because only after it was finished did we like go out and try to get a recording contract, a lawyer, a manager, and everything that goes with like a deal. The waiting, the nervousness, the anticipation was like driving us up a wall. So we would like rent a car and take these little trips out. I mean, we had to do something to, like, not go crazy. It was just something that we knew about, and we could only imagine what other people would say. And of course we would sit there and imagine they said great things. Anyway, this shot of me is beginning to look like a Hallmark card. is doing something amazing. People are rushing here, they're going there, and you always get the feeling that you're the only one at home watching television. Washington Square's right up the street That was the place where we would meet Eyes out of dark run, don't be late Most of the times I'd sit and wait Looking at people pass me by The customer's bagging his supply she thought she wouldn't show There she comes running, don't you know? Oh! 
we started looking for a bass player and finally started rehearsing our live show, um, it started to get really stressed out. And it was such a relief to get on a plane and know that Mary's coming was being released. Skulle du hjälpa mig lite eller skulle du inte? Let's work together. Words don't come easy to me. Okay? Words don't come easy to me, neither do you. And the band is called Savoy. And uh, Greg Calvert, you're the bass player. Yes, sir. Welcome to the gentleman's department. Thank you very much. Would you care to introduce the rest of the band? Sure. I was saying I should take a sleeping tablet because I'm not getting sleep and then suddenly the alarm went off. <laughs> what the hell? That was it? it was six hours? <laughs> I hate that. That was rough yesterday, wasn't it? Do you have jet lag then? Uh, yeah, no. I mean, I, feel, I still feel it. Are you named after the, uh, the Italian royal house of Savoy? Oh, no, I wish. <laughs> my father wishes. So my, my other question was maybe you had something to do with the hotels. Yeah, we were thinking of Sheraton, but it didn't have the right no, rain right. to it. Yeah. 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 Your favorite Focus is on rehearsing now <laughs> after Pogo Pops. <laughs> Pippa heter Savoy, låta heter Velvet. Starting your tour here in Norway, are every song different from what they are on the album? Mm -hmm. we, because it's only four of us, mm -hmm. you have to make the arrangements different <clears throat> to fit a live performance. Fruta and Paul saw me in a bar with another band, they stole me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and what happened to that band? Uh, they're looking for a new bass player right now. <laughs> They've been looking for months. I ringed up Paul. Han hade kanske hört chocolate och så har han hört igenom Warner Music Norge att det var en trommis i Bergen som kanske kunde brukas. Yeah, you ask in Norwegian. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Det eneste er hvis du snakker med amerikansk aksant. Ja, ja, ja. Du forstår ingenting han sier. Ja, ja, ja. Så jeg snakker alltid litt med litt amerikansk aksant. Du forstår det. Ja, ja. Oh, that's so true. Vårt første fanbrev. Det er kjedelig. Egen som var jo subtitle på bokmålen. Faen. Du er drita lei diskriminert for dialekten min, altså. Greg! Gud. Hvor er Greg? Hvor er Greg? Det er engelsk. Greg sa, hva er det de kom i? Så har du skrivet autografen med en gang. Ja, men. Hva er det de kom i? Greg får ut den der. I'm writing. Aha rules. Hahaha. 
Florine. Oh, that's the way they pronounce it as well. Florine. Yeah. Oh, Lauren. 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 I'm sure. Excuse me. Interesting. Why do you do it? Why do I do it? How, how do you find this? Did you know this? It must be very frustrating. And how, how long did it take? When when did you start? Yeah. Was it something you always wanted to do and you just didn't have the time? Or? We won't be too nice to you because we are going to put you through the Mille Vanille test. Yeah. And uh, if you don't pass it, you get chucked out of here, you see. So <laughs> you better pass it or else you don't get into rock and roll heaven later. Seriously, scary yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the morning daylight and to hear will be added Jag har sånt här som passar där. Ja, det är jag Nästa. Läs för dig. Folk vågar inte. Han kliar det. Han bor i Tallinn, han och det visas. Han bor i en fashionabel topplägenhet på Manhattan i New York som kon Lawrence har varit. Till har han en lägenhet i London, London som han att det ser och höra för att planera och sälja. Drömt samtidigt som han gifte sig i 1991 köpte han också en villa på Vinnaren i Oslo till hela 3,8 miljoner kronor. Hver gang Paul hører en gammel og holder på radioen, vet han at det betyr klingende mye til krasen. What? Paul er den dyktigste musikeren i banen. It's a lie! Hei! 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 Maybe we'll be in your next documentary. I hope so. Ein ästhetisch äußerst interessantes Video von Savoy aus der neuen Platte Mary is Coming, die gerade in Deutschland vor ein paar Tagen rausgekommen ist, in Norwegen. Ist sie schon auf Platz 1? The story is pretty weird. Um, it's about a woman who distills perfume using bugs and beetles and insects, from, like the book Perfume. Nice. Yeah, and, <laughs> and she distills it and it travels through pipes in her apartment and then drips into her tub and she bathes in the stuff and also drinks it. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, yummy. A really nice story for a nice pop song anyway. So <laughs> That's song. Awesome. going to play live for us now from the new album as well, I think. So have you decided now? Which we haven't decided. Gonna... <laughs> Washington Square is right up the street. That was the place where we would meet. Outside a dog run down the lane. Most of the times I'd say beautiful song of, from this record but it sounds I mean compared to the stuff that you've done before it sounds really rough yeah. and listening through the um, the record mm. I thought well he has this talent for catchy melodies and beautiful harmonies and you're working very hard against it sometimes and make it sound really rough is it, is it like that <laughs> <laughs> no I think I think uh, for me it's I don't feel like I'm working against it I feel like I'm uh, bringing it out, bringing it out. Mm -hmm. Are you going to learn some more Norwegian? Of course I am. Can you say Radio 1? Radio 1, yeah, Radio 1. Say that again. Radio 1, yeah, Radio 1. I don't think I can say that. Lauren, you met, uh, you met Paul in London, in the beginning of the hard time. Oh yeah, that? before yeah. the hard time, yeah. yeah. What, was, what was he like then? I mean, he was the man looking for the full jackpot on the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> what, what, was his, what was he like? What was the thing that made you fall for him? What made me fall for him? Mm -hmm. um, probably the fact that, I don't know, he, because he didn't speak English very well. So when we would go out, I could talk for ages, and he would smile and go, yeah. And so I thought he was a man that really understood me, when in fact he didn't understand a word that I said. <laughs> so, there you go. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> Lauren, you write, you make films, short films, and you make music videos. Is there any person or any artist 
who could make you drop Savoy right now if they wanted you to work with them? Uh. <laughs> Come on, Greg, you're not here to fucking drink coffee. It's an album with both sides. It's hard, just a little bit hard, and then dark sounds, mm. and the next moment is melancholy and, and, and easy and it's swimming like a little bit. <laughs> I mean, Paul's guitar and Fruta's voice. Okay. And, and then can I have a, just a, t a little bit more bass of Greg? A little bit more bass, you know just a little bit? It's ridiculous. Here I roam the streets without you The summer fades away That's all yours. My stomach is like my words right now. That's stomach. The stomach is the thing yeah. where the food and the booze go to when you drink. Watch. Now it's my mouth. <coughs> By now it's reached my stomach. What about here? I'm so glad like, my friends are here. <laughs> oh. Was there a wire transfer this week for $1,000 for doorway? Is this nerves? Is it? No, this is not This nerves. is, I, I don't like to see this. Yeah. Morton's outside. Uh, Morton's outside. Land, He's right there waiting to say hello. Thousand. Cool. They're fantastic. Should I wear those? Yeah, they're great. They don't look that cool. Oh. No. Yeah. Greg, you want to go through there today as well? Yes, please. Oh, sorry. Just taking off my pants. Everybody's watching. Yeah. Yeah, better than. Yeah, where's everybody I know? Say hi. Oh, 
Private. Like, private. private. Yeah, right. <laughs> One thing with Paul is that, you know, because he's so powerful and he's done this for so long, that if I want a song to go a certain way, he'll be really adamant, no, you know, it has to go this way, and he'll be so...